think um, also the fact that Telegram offer a lot of like API and bots functionality. So everything is kind of a easily automate, like automatable, or like it can be automated easily because uh, all of this ecosystem of like bots and API on Telegram. So we see as well this kind of a functionality where it, it's removed the middleman and enabled like the original order to have like efficient way to sell and to manage the community in order to uh, to get revenue. So don't necessarily to need to pass through it to, to a middleman as you were describing in your, in your example. Um, we see a lot of like SaaS services that be as well being, being, being sold or being traded on, on Telegram. The interesting part as well is we've seen more and more of those tools. Again, integration with Telegram. So for the red line stealer for the back end, like recently, I think it was like in the, in the last two or three version, there's actually a tab Telegram where you can set up your channel and it will post automatically the steal, the, the stolen information. So the, 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 the info stealer will, will post automatically the, the, the victim on a specific Telegram channel with automation in order to resell those in, information. So we see kind of a Telegram being used in like different way and all, all the like being more and more core of different components of, of the, uh, the, the platform as a service power. So almost using Telegram as like command and control infrastructure where it's just pulling that data directly back and then you can just repackage it and give it away or sell it on other Telegram channels. Yeah. Um, so there's, yeah, that's it's the like trend multi-use we're case. That's the trend we're seeing. It's starting to be kind of the like um, central platform or core or core component of uh, those, uh, those automation and software as a service. Uh,